What's up friends? We are back for another video. You guys have been asking me about a hair video. As y'all can see, my hair is not done. It's not styled. It's not even clean, honey. It is dirty. So I recently cut my hair. I did my big chop and now I'm having to relearn what my hair likes, doesn't like. And my hair surprisingly has changed. It has been bleached. It has been colored. It has been cut. So what I want to do is show you guys what I've been, you know, experimenting with and showing you what has been working for me because since my hair has been through a lot the past couple of months, I've noticed my hair texture seems a little bit different. Even my porosity seems a little bit different. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Of course, I couldn't forget to do a quick texture shot for you all. I remember when I first started doing hair videos, people were telling me how my hair wasn't a certain type and yada, yada, yada. But keep in mind, when my hair is longer, the weight of my hair elongates my curls. So my curls aren't as tight when my hair is grown out. But this is how my hair looks. So just wanted to emphasize this is what my hair looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in the shower, y'all. I'm using gloves because I just apply my new press on nails. What I used to do is use a pre-poo and I am out of pre-poo and my hair is super short right now. So what I do is go back to when I first became natural and that was just getting a regular conditioner to put in my hair before I shampooed. Now back in the day, girlies was using the Aussie Moist, but y'all this Tresemme, the, the rich moisture one, it was on sale. You get a whole lot for like two or three dollars when it's on sale. So I'm just saturating my hair with water and then I'm putting that conditioner in my hair. It's upsetting me in my home, girl. Now I know that's probably gonna ruffle a lot of people's feathers, but again, this is just to help my hair because it's so dry, so matted, so coarse before I go in with the shampoo. You don't have to do that, but again, this is what I'm doing for my hair. <laughs> so after I get that saturated with some conditioner, then I go in with one of my favorite shampoos. You've seen it, you know, being used time and time again on here. I shampoo my hair. Back in the day when my hair was longer, I did part it into four sections, but now since it's short, it's not a necessity for me at this point. When my hair gets longer, then I'll part it. But right now, I don't need to do that. Instead, what I do is I just lift my hair and I just, you know, make sure I get my get to my scalp underneath my hair. So I'm kind of parting it, but not really. And then I rinse it out. Now this is something I wasn't doing before, and that is going to be washing my hair twice. The second time around, I do go in with my Bond Bar shampoo. Uh, that's because I'm still wanting to help strengthen and revive my hair, make it a little bit stronger, a little bit healthier since it's been through, it's been through the ringer, girl. It's been through the ringer. So I'm just shampooing for the second time with my Bond Bar shampoo, and then I rinse it out. Since I've been wanting to make sure my hair is healthy, and repairing the bonds that were broken with the bleach and stuff I'm using this anomaly hair mask now this is by Priyanka Chopra she's Nick Jonas wife if you haven't heard of her um, she is a celebrity but her products actually work and it's only it's like three or four dollars at Kroger's girl like it's always on sale so um, it's really easy to get this for pretty cheap now what I'm doing is just saturating my hair, especially the bleached parts of my hair with this product. And then I go in with a wide tooth comb. Yes, you heard me right, a wide tooth comb. I know if you've ever seen any of my videos, I'm all about finger detangling, but because my hair has gotten, you know, so coily and soy matted in the back, especially I'm using a comb. Now I'm sure once my hair grows out, I can go back to just my regular finger detangling, but for right now, a comb is, is what what's working for me um once i get it, that comb get my once i get all of my hair combed out excuse me then i go in with my holy grail deep conditioner which is at carol's daughter like you've seen me use this a time and time and time again on this channel if i were to recommend one product for you it would be this this is my favorite deep conditioner it works wonders in my hair once I have the Carol's Daughter in my hair, then I like to do one final run through with the comb over my entire head and then put the plastic cap on top. Now y'all know I've been very loyal to Kroger and you know what, I'm, I'm gonna pay for it because using these little plastic bags, y'all they break, my hair don't fit in it. I realize like just because my hair is shorter, 
doesn't mean that I need to go back to this. So this will probably be the last video you see me using one of these little tiny caps because they just don't, they don't, they don't hit like my Kroger bags do. Like, I, yeah, I y'all forgive me. Like Kroger, please forgive me. I will make sure I use y'all bags from now on. I let that sit in my hair for one hour and then I come back and I take that cap off. Now y'all look how silky my hair looks and I'm telling y'all like even though it's smushed down because of that plastic bag like my hair is soft. My curls are juicy. Uh, like it just feels healthy and hydrated y'all. Like I'm telling you that Carol's daughter with that anomaly combo like that's where it's at. So of course I'm going to go ahead and rinse that out and then put my two products in. That's it. I'm all, all I've used is two products. Now the first product I've been using is this Coil Enhancing Butter by Carol's Daughter. Even though it has coconut in it and I'm not a fan of coconut, my hair actually has been responding well to this. So I'm gonna keep it in rotation. Um, again, I am still experimenting with my hair, but it right now at this stage in my hair's you know new journey, it's agreeing with this. And it definitely feels hydrating in my curls are not feeling thirsty. The second thing I've been using is this style mousse. Now I've been trying to stay away from gels because gels can be very drying since they do have alcohol in them and this does not have alcohol. It also doesn't have a lot of other products in it and surprisingly my hair has been responding to this very well. Now I'm not sure if that's just for this stage in my curls or you know for on down the road in my hair journey. Uh, but what I do is I just put that right on top and as you can see I am doing finger detangling now. I only do the comb when I'm applying my deep conditioning. The rest is just finger detangling. So I just put that um, you know that hair butter in and then immediately after I go in with this styling mousse foam whatever you want to call it by um, Cream of Nature. I had to run off camera and wet my hair because my hair is sort of becoming more high porosity which means like water goes through it super fast and it doesn't stay like wet i used to be low porosity where my hair just stayed wet forever so i literally like drenched my hair with water um but this is how it looks with all of the product on my hair and it being wet and it's already starting to dry and of course you got to put your oil in your hair at least i do you don't have to do this step. Um, this is just what I like to do for my hair. And I just massage it in my scalp like so. And I do have my edge control on. It's already like lifting up, like it's already starting to dry. So I will come back in however long it takes for my hair to be fully dry. Well, I had to go get gas. My hair is surprisingly still wet. It's been a few hours, um, so it's weird. It's like my hair is like low porosity and high porosity right now, but um, I guess I'll just come back tomorrow once my hair is fully dry. And this is the final result. It's the next day. The only thing I did, guys, was put a bonnet on my head and went to sleep. My hair is fully dry. I don't know if you can see like it has movement and body, but that's it. Like I said, I'm still learning my hair, but I'm really happy with these results and hope you guys like them too. If you have any suggestions for me on what I can do as I'm learning my new short hair, drop it down in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear them. And let's go ahead and look at the back. This is the back. Short curls for the girls in the summer. Keeping myself nice and dry this summer <laughs> thank you so much for watching and until next time guys peace